Amid the haunting smoldering ruins of Lahaina, the sense of loss is overwhelming. It takes a toll on you emotionally, mentally, and then, of course, physically. This morning, officials will begin releasing the names of the deceased whose remains have been identified. Canine teams still going house to house in a somber search for victims. It's not just ash on your clothing when you take it off. It's our loved ones. Meanwhile, investigators are trying to determine how the fire started and whether so much loss could have been prevented. A brush fire near Lahaina was first reported early Tuesday morning, and some evacuations were ordered just after 6.30 a.m. But Maui officials thought they had it under control, announcing 100% containment around 9 a.m., possibly giving residents a false sense of security. By that afternoon, Lahaina was in the grip of an inferno. Officials say emergency sirens were never activated. Typically the communication is by cell phone, on television. All of these modalities were destroyed with a rapid fire. The firestorm surrounding terrified residents as they fled the burn zone. The randomness of this wildfire is evident in this neighborhood. There are homes and apartments that are still standing, but just across the street here, total destruction. For those that want to return and rebuild, that process is going to take years. Adding to the difficulty, concerns over environmental safety. I mean, what's all this is like? Looks still smoldering, it's toxic, hazardous. Officials say dangerous chemicals like lead and asbestos are contaminating the air, soil, and water. How concerned are you about the, the long-term effects of, of living here? Very, very. Everyone's talking about, you know, as soon as we can get out, get out. A community that has lost so much now coping with the danger of what remains.